Hi everyone. I'm uh, going to the city to get my hair cut and I thought it would be a great opportunity to do a day in the life of a stock photographer. I've got my Canon 70D, got wind blowing in my face so my eyes are going all wonky. In this tiny little bag, traveling very light. That's for stills and for video I've got my iPhone SE 2020 which can shoot 4k at 60 frames so it's good enough for video for today's walkabout targets we'll be looking for in the city I think I'm going to go into some specialty shops and ask the people if I can photograph some of their unique products stuff on the street that catches my eye that's unique or interesting or different and of course if there's a protest with a chance of potential violence we will always go for that anyway i have to catch the tram and i'll see you in the city I just got out of the tram and I walked past uh, the hospital that's near the centre of the Hague and that's the uh, West Einde Hospital and uh, I've taken a photo just of the sign in the front of it and also the uh, the building of course so you never know people uh, need those kind of generic photos of uh, well-known buildings and cities that's my first for the day. While I was there, I uh, also went past some other sections of the hospital and took some photos of the, like, the emergency help entrance for like emergency first aid and also for mental health. So. There's a number of uh, good subjects there that uh, are often used by clients of the stock agency. Now I've come here to a specialty electronics uh, shop called Radio for Town. And I noticed in the window they had some beautiful old radios and even a gramophone. Uh, so I asked the owner if it was okay if I made some photos of uh, this old radio here. Some gramophone needles. And behind the camera is an old gramophone as well. So I'll make a photo of that. And... Uh, yeah, we'll just get started. So I've done the radio with uh, the background of the shop. I've set it at F5, fairly wide aperture, so the background is a bit blurred. And now I'm going to do a kind of flat lay of the radio. And I'll do this at f6.3. I'll put my camera in manual mode. I've got a shutter speed of 1 25th of a second. I've got my image stabilization on. And I've got my aperture set at 6.3. See how that works. This is an old 1970s retro TV. It's called the Space Mountain, and it simu simulates a uh, an astronaut's helmet. And when you want to watch TV, you lift up the visor, and away you go. Yeah. 
So I've just taken a number of different shots of the gramophone, uh, wide angles, uh, verticals, horizontals, and also trying to get some close-ups of the needle here on the actual record itself. Uh, the room is very dark, so I'm working with high ISOs. So I'm going to have to really use the noise reduction uh, AI software to crush that noise. And I guess you'll find out if it worked when you see the photos. <laughs> The owner has also pulled out a whole box of old componentry, which I've been taking uh, flat lay shots of, and also close-ups with that semi-macro lens, so really enjoying myself. Oh, well, that was uh, great, the uh, photo shoot in Radio 4 Town. And uh, Mike, the owner, he was very friendly and really patient and helpful. You, you can really go a long way when you just ask people questions and your motives are honest. And I just said to him, is it okay if I upload my photos of these items to the stock agencies? And he said, yes. Uh, I could have spent... Uh, a whole afternoon there just shooting everything that he had and I think in the future he's invited me back so I will be uh, I will be taking up his invitation and going back to do some more like macro photography and stuff just on the subject of those uh, really specialty shops one of the disadvantages when I go in is that they're always dim. You know, it adds to the character, uh, but it just shows me that I really need a full frame camera that is more flexible dealing with these uh, variable light situations. My old 70D, the sensor is a crop sensor and it's just not really up to it. You know, I'm gonna salvage some of those shots that I took but you know, some of them were reaching up to ISOs of 5,000. And that's putting a lot of expectation on noise reduction software. I'm just coming up to a really well-known old cafe in The Hague, and it's called Cafe Milka. So I think I'll just take a photo of the exterior of that because it's kind of a, a well-known old landmark of the city. Yeah, I've just come through the entrance of this place. It's called the Spanza Hof, and I think it's uh, like a Spanish courtyard, I guess you could say. And uh, behind me is this really special building, it's kind of crushing the highlights here. But if you look up there, it's an amazing old church, I guess. Almost looks Eastern Orthodox. I don't know if it, if it is or not. Not my, really my strong point. But I don't have an ultra wide lens, so it's going to be really tough to capture. But I think this main door and the statue above it is a possibility. We'll give it a try. What are you doing here? 
I'm photographing uh, the building for an advertising company. Oh, okay. Because they want to uh, propose uh, to big uh, companies like Nike or H&M or Chanel to put a big uh, poster there. Oh, a big poster. So this is a kind of mock-up uh, picture. Oh, to see if, it, if everything will fit and all of that yeah, kind and of if, stuff. Yeah, if there's enough people uh, walking around. And, uh, oh, okay. And so, are you a commercial photographer? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And do you, uh, is this your main outdoor non-studio camera, the uh, Nikon D850? Yeah, yeah. Mostly I work with this one and when I'm uh, making portraits I use a Fuji GFX 100. Ah, oh, yes. That's yes. my favorite actually. Yeah. But there's not yeah. no use for that for this kind of work. Why is that? Because uh, <laughs> It's uh, if you take pictures of this building for uh, 100 MB, it's, it's overkill. To, yeah, it's overkill. You have to reduce it to 20 MB. So yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is a good camera actually for it's quick. The, the uh, Fuji is slower. It's good for portraits. I use it for travel photography a lot. So, and the lens is a uh, Sigma or a Tamron? I think it's. I think this is a Tamron. Two four, two four, twenty four millimeter, two seventeen. Ah, yeah. Ah, well, thank you very much for uh, talking to me. Good luck about what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye. See you. I've got my hair cut and the gent did a minor miracle with what he had to work with and I've just gone through the center of the city which is just really busy and swarming with humanity bikes and all that kind of stuff and I just don't really function well when I'm surrounded by that chaos so I'm just walking up to Central Station where sometimes there's some political protests and it's a really quiet area that I'm going through with some uh, restaurants and stuff like that. Well, there's not much blue sky around today, so I've made a little video of some bikes riding towards the tall buildings behind me, but I'm not sure if it would be worth much because the sky is very gray and uh yeah those don't tend to sell very well we will move on so i'm just standing uh, in front of the royal uh kind of uh, theater it's called the Koninklijke schauber and i'm just waiting for some trams to come past so i can do a video of the trams passing by this beautiful old building while I'm waiting for the tram I always I'm a pretty impatient person I think and uh, I feel conspicuous when I'm just standing here around on a corner but uh, so far there's been no demonstrations today so we lucked out with that but I do see a tram coming so hopefully we can uh, grab a video of that I think that worked out okay. I was just a bit concerned about the the level of the foreground. It looked a bit like the tram was going uphill, but I don't have the patience to wait around for 10 minutes for another one to come along. So we'll just uh, keep our fingers crossed that that uh, was level enough. I'm just gonna walk back towards the tram stop now and uh, just capture anything that fancies my or takes my fancy as it were i know i'm going to walk through a nice old shopping street and i think there's a number of uh, well-known shops there that i might photograph the uh, facades of or the front of the shops so we'll just uh, have a wander down there
see one of my favorite subjects behind me and that's a little fold-up bike like a modern bike placed against an ancient old brick wall so i'm going to uh, capture an image of that so i see here there's a like a specialty cake store and i'm just going to go in and ask if i can take a photo or two of the cakes under these beautiful glass uh, jars that protect them so here goes it'll either be a quick yes or no answer and we'll find out soon the lady who owned the bakery store or cake store said no she uh, i think she was okay with me photographing her cakes but she didn't want them used as stock and i completely understand and it turns out she was an old well, a former photographer herself and she focused on portraits and used to do a lot of film work before she diversified into making cakes uh, so we had a good discussion anyway and she said she really appreciated the fact that i said that the photos i were going to take were going to go for stock photography uh, and i i'd like to be up front with that kind of stuff because i don't want any uh body to feel hard done by if they see their photo of their product or something appear on uh, an advertisement or something. I think it's the only way to go, you know, you have a clear conscience and uh, you can just go ahead. Anyway, we'll keep wandering around and see what targets present themselves. Well, if you've been following my channel long enough, You'll know that I just uh, love a classic car and I really love the old uh, Citroens. I'm not sure, but I think this is a Citroen DS and behind it is a really beautiful old, maybe Jugendstil style building. I'm not sure about that either. But uh, if this is my last photo of the day, uh, I'm ending on a happy note. Oh, we've got a double Citroen whammy here with a beautiful De Chevaux or CV2, two-cylinder uh, old uh, French Citroen and uh, I think we've got some decent shots. I think the colour of it, I think the colour of it with that pale or faded uh, red uh, really contrasts nicely with the buildings behind it. So as I walked past the street that I lived in 16 years ago and past the red Mercedes van that was there at least 10 years before that, it's really comforting just to see that some things never change. And as I've been wandering around like a headless chicken all day in this city, it's just been fantastic that I had the freedom just to carry my camera around I put my phone on the ground with its stand and people were walking past it and I didn't feel that someone was just going to pick it up and run away with it. So it's a real privilege living in a place like uh, The Hague where I have the freedom to do what I really enjoy. I hope you had a great experience with this video. If you did, please put a like on it and I will see you in the next one. Bye!